Hey guys, there was a, a certain way that I used to change my light bulbs. Um, but there was another way that uh, I had to change my light bulbs when it came to the pigtail. Now before, I would just dismantle and just remove all the screws to this uh, plastic over the, the wheel. Not sure what it's called, but I'm sure some of you will know. Now, I would just basically reach in there and grab through here, holding this back, pulling this back a little bit, and just reaching in there and uncapping the cap from the corner down there and just uncapping it and just unscrewing it and then just reaching it with both my hands. In the end, I would tear up my arms doing that and it hurt. Um, but you know, I did it after a while and many, many times and it, I just got used to it. I, I found a new way to um, do this a little bit better and easier. Now what I did was I just unscrewed a couple of screws over here. I actually at one point took this entire thing off. I took it off. I did it on the other side. I'm now done this on both sides now. So what I did was I just unscrewed a couple of these. This is pre this pretty much could come off. I could I could make it all come off. All I gotta do is take the rest of these screws off down here and it would this whole piece of metal would come off and then this would come off. There's a couple of screws, you know, one, two, there's another one over here that the light attaches itself to. And as you can see, this is pretty much what it looks like if it was all together. It's not too many. I think there's one. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then underneath here, there's a couple more. It only takes like five minutes to take, eh, yeah, five minutes, maybe a couple more minutes than that, to take the, the metal off and the light out, and then you can get to it. Now, here's the problem that I was having. I was having a problem with using higher uh, luminosity uh, bulbs, uh, the Sylvania ones in my Traverse, and, uh, the pigtail, the plastic would burn out and the light bulb would go out. So I'd have to replace this, the bulb, and uh, the pigtail. Uh, the the Sylvania ones, they put out a lot of power. So these cannot really handle it for a long time. Like I would say five, six to eight months uh, on average. But it's worth it because you get to have some bright light bulbs and then you get to work on your car after a while. So if you're not the type of person that likes to do that, and then so be it. Now, I just figured out something new. I've been here trying to figure this out at AutoZone and I literally took this out don't know what the heck I was doing I got the concept and the idea after looking at it I realized that these whatever they're called can actually be pulled out from here and they just literally slide right back in there and then you connect it to this bad boy now this is what I did was what, what I did I decided to take these and just kind of just clip them back in there just to test because the, the, the problem I was having with this situation this time my low beam headlight was not working I checked the fuse did that already you know checked them checked them replaced them checked them again replaced it again just to double triple check to make sure now check this out you can see when I'm touching it the light is coming on now, okay now check this out when I'm touching this one, the light comes on. When I touch this one, the light doesn't come on. When I touch this one, the light comes on. I already know what the problem is. It's this one right here. Now, back here on the back side, I'm gonna unplug these. I don't want there to be any issues. So, on the back side of this, this purple clip can be taken out and these wires can be pulled out also. Whatever this brown wire is, that's the issue. I don't know if it's just got a bad connection or if it's burned out or if it just needs to be taken out and put back into this piece. I noticed when I pulled on the back of this wire, this piece of metal right here would shake and it would move back also. So I know it can be taken out, I just haven't done it yet. I did take off the purple clip. The purple clip just basically keeps these wires from coming out because that's what it's supposed to be done. So I'm assuming whenever take your car to the dealership and you don't know what's wrong with your lights and you try to change your light bulbs and uh, mechanic changes your light bulbs you probably think oh hey uh, yeah that's uh, something that I don't know how to do the, the, you or a mechanic so the mechanic tells you to go to uh, a dealer this is exactly what the dealer is going to do he's just going to do this he's probably going to just take this out right here now what I'm going to do I'm going to basically just connect these two wires from the other one which were originally plugged into the 
brown and black wire on this side. The brown and the black on this, this side over here where my finger is. So that's where I'm gonna plug, uh, that's where the red wires were plugging into. Uh, well, I lost one. Don't know where it went just now, but I'm sure it's here. Oh, there it is. Look at that, just barely hanging on. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna, that's where those two red wires are plugged in. I thought there was something wrong with the wire. It's not. Um, it's actually that brown wire. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to connect, because this is my low beam headlight, until I can get it uh, get it taken care of. I don't have the time to do it right now. I did do all of this, but literally all I have to do is put this back on. I'll, I'll, I'm, it ain't going to take me that long. I'm not going to put the screws back in. I'm just going to put this back in, put the cover over top of it, and just kind of push this back in. It's going to stay. It's not going to be fine. It's not like I'm going to be on the highway going like 80 miles per hour. It, it's going to be fine. It, all I got to do later on is just put the screws back in. Later on, when I get more time, I'm gonna. I, I think I should be able to fix this and pull this back and just realign. I'm assuming it's similar to what's what's going on over here. That wire is just being clipped onto that. I'm assuming it's something similar to that. I'm not sure if this piece of metal can be split and and then pinched back together with a you know with a pair with a pair of pliers. You know. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see what happens. Um, I don't know if anybody else has had this experience. I've never really done this before, but uh, I, it's common sense. It looks like it's easy to do. Maybe to some of you it doesn't look easy, but uh, for now, I need my low beam headlight to work so I don't get a ticket. And, uh, and it should work. Thanks for watching.